Hi, so a little while ago, about a week, uh, I made a community post asking if you guys had any questions for me, because uh, I took some time off, pardon noises, neighbors and all that, uh, but I took some time off because of personal reasons, and I still want to get back into things, so I thought, why not do an AMA, uh, because that's something easy I can do. Um, but anyway, I got six questions. Uh, I'm going to try and answer them as best as I can. Uh, and let's get the show on the road, shall we? Uh, so the first question by Baka-san, and I never want to say that out loud again, is uh, out of any series slash audios you've done so far, which one have you enjoyed the most recording? Keep up the fantastic work on your audios. Always a treat to hear them. First off, thank you very much. I'm glad that you enjoy them. Uh, second, that's kind of like asking a mother to pick a favorite child. Um, I honestly like different audios and recording and editing processes because of different reasons. Uh, with the SPV, I like that I can like do a lot of things and like lean into the urban fantasy angle. Um, with the Mafia series, the suspense, and trying to learn a new accent. Because if you listen to the first one then versus the last one, my accent changes drastically. Um, and just like, I, I learned a lot of new things with the Mafia uh, series, uh, editing-wise, recording-wise, you know, the whole shebang. Uh, and it, it, there's just like, I like different things for different reasons. Um, so I don't really have a favorite. And then uh, by non-existent, uh, how do slash did you plan your future regarding voice acting? Well, uh, I'll be honest. I hope that I can make this my job uh, or my career. It's a little uh, far-fetched considering. I am in the YouTube Partner Program by now, which is mind-blowing. I never thought I'd manage that. But um, I do hope that alongside uh, Quinn and this and all that and... Um, I guess I can make the announcement now. Uh, come the new year, I am planning on doing two things. One is opening up a Patreon, and two, open up commissions. Um, so hopefully, with all of that combined, I can finagle it so that I can hopefully make a living wage off of this, uh, because I've always wanted to work in a creative field, and this just feels like the right thing at the right time. Um, I don't expect to ever land a, a role in, like, a game or a show or anything like that uh, nor am I gonna delude myself into thinking that that's gonna be a thing that I can do but you know I do want to continue with this specific line of work I guess uh, then third question by m.y do you have any particular sources of inspiration for your recordings well, I get inspired uh, by other VAs, by everyday things, by media I consume. It just really depends. Everything inspires me. And I feel like a lot of artists, regardless of their craft, have this, that they just get inspired by what's around them. Like, for example, um, the SBV, I was inspired by Redacted Audios, who does some fantastic, absolutely phenomenal work with his stories. Um, when it comes to, uh, the Mafia series, I, uh, just have a soft spot for stuff like that, like the cliche Mafia boss Wattpad trope thing. Uh, I don't touch Wattpad though, cause that is baby's first fanfic stuff. And I have been writing fanfic longer than some of you have been alive, even though I don't like people under 18 listening to my work. Anyway, um, that is a, a long way around to just say, um... I get inspired by different things. Um, and sometimes the inspiration is obvious, sometimes it is not. <laughs> um, but I will never go out and like get inspired by something and it's kind of obvious and then I just kind of like deny it in every way, shape or form. No, I am never going to hide the fact that the SPV was uh, inspired by the work of Redacted Audios. I'm not going to lie and say, oh, the Mafia series original work while well, it was written by Snooza. Uh, and I'm going to go on a brief tangent here because this has been coming up uh, very recently. While I acknowledge that scriptwriters uh, or like VAs get a lot more praise and love than scriptwriters, 
do not forget to hype up scriptwriters. They are the backbone of the audio community and they deserve so much more. Um, so if you see, if you're like on someone's Reddit or on my Reddit or whatever, and you see, oh, this was a script written, written by such and such, go to their page or tag them and leave them a compliment too, because they deserve it, honestly. Um, okay, next question by Firefox. What is your favorite genre of books, movies, anything? Uh, I'm a big fantasy person, in case my avatar didn't give that away. Um, but I really, really love fantasy, especially stuff with like vampires and werewolves and um, like something slightly spooky. Uh, I'm in the middle of reading an absolute fucking tome of a book called uh, The Empire of the Vampire, which is just like, it ticks all the boxes. Uh, it's about vampires and vampire slayers in this post-apocalyptic world world where the sun has been blotted out by a thick mist that hasn't gone away in years um and just i fantasy is my bread and butter i love fantasy so much though i will admit uh in recent days i have been really enjoying cyberpunk as a genre because i've been playing cyberpunk 2077 uh i am putting off watching edge runners because i know it's sad Everyone around me keeps saying it's sad, and I don't handle sad media very well, uh, but I've been enjoying that. But on the whole, I'm a big, big, big uh, fantasy person. Uh, and then second to last question by Valentra. Uh, is there any particular game or character you would like to voice act if you ever got the chance? Um, like I said, I don't ever expect to be in any sort of media that isn't by my own production or in production with friends and stuff like that. But in an ideal world where I could get any role I wanted, I would love to do a voice for a companion in a Dragon Age game. Or like a Mass Effect game, like something by Bioware. I would love to do that. Um, or like maybe lend my voice to an indie game or something like that. Uh, I, <laughs> I have a feeling y'all were probably fishing for like, oh, I want to be a Genshin like character or stuff like that. I don't play Genshin. It's not I, I played it for a while but it's just so grindy and such money grabbing rubbish anyway uh sorry for the genshin fans i'm just personally not a fan but uh like a companion in a dragon age game just like or that's like um a smaller role just like personally i don't want to play a main character i want to be like the character that a fandom latches onto for no apparent reason think like the gatekeeper in uh fire emblem three houses my man barely has any roles. He doesn't even have a name. We do not see his face. But the fandom is like, you, you're our meow meow du jour. You are our baby boy now, our baby girl. Um, but yeah, that's the kind of character that I would love to voice. <laughs> um, and then on to our last question uh, by It's Rue. Uh, where are you from? I am not disclosing. It is not a secret, but I don't like advertising it. And then... Um, Oh, they have two more questions. Uh, fave music slash artist. Uh, I've gone on about this, I think, on a stream at one point. But I really like two bands in specific. That is Ghost. Um, if you've been on TikTok, you have seen them pass by. Uh, they're the ones behind the song Mary on a Cross. Um, I just really, really love them. I have a tattoo on my arm devoted to them. Uh, and the second one is the Deer Hunter, who I also want to get a tattoo for. Um they have helped their music have helped me through an incredibly incredibly difficult part of my life and i feel like their music and everything has grown alongside me or i've grown alongside their music and their career and just the deer hunter will always and forever have a special little place in my cold dead heart <laughs> um and then the last one is what did what did slash do you study uh i have been out of school for years now um, but when I was in school, I studied uh, architecture and graphic design. I wanted to be an artist, uh, uh, but unfortunately, I was denied going to art school. Not by my parents or anything. I just didn't make the entrance test. Uh, and in retrospect, there is so there was so much wrong with my portfolio that I could just like smack past me before even thinking I could pass with that portfolio. Um, but I studied art basically uh, art and architecture um partially under guidance of or like under slight convincing of my mother because i wanted to do art sure architecture less so but you know it sounds fancy and it makes me sound smart 
um, even though I have a dyscalculia and I don't do math very well, <laughs> um, which is something you kind of need when you do architecture. Um, but yeah, that is uh, what I studied. Uh, I also briefly went to college for history. I was a history major, but I had to drop out, unfortunately. Um, but maybe later in life, if I ever have the time, energy, or want, I can go back to college. But I don't see that happening in the foreseeable future. Um, and that is the conclusion of my little impromptu AMA. Um, thank you to all those who have asked questions. Thank you for watching this video. And hopefully by this time next week, I will present you with an actual new audio. But yeah, uh, I'll see you then. <laughs>